Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today and I hope you're having a great time. Today I'm going to briefly go and compare two free DAWs, one being the Personas Studio One Prime and the other one will be in Traction T5 which is now free. And I'm going to quickly go through some of it, their limitations and op available options and we can find out which one might be a better option for our next recording project. So I'm going to go through between Prime and T5 and compare them and see what things are similar and what things are different, which options are missing in one of the DAWs and which options are available in the other one. Now there are a few things which are common between the two DAWs. Both support unlimited audio and MIDI tracks. Now though on Persona's website it does mention that Prime also supports unlimited bus and effects channels. Unfortunately I haven't been able to find out uh, how to add buses. I don't think it physically exists so it might be a misprint on their website. It definitely doesn't have any bus on Prime. But with Traction T5 you can have as many buses and effects channels though they work slightly differently because they're all tracks and we will look at that um, in future videos how that works but as far as buses and effects channels there are no buses in Prime there are uh, effects channels and in T5 you can have as many buses and as many effects channels as you need both the AWs, Prime and T5, do support automation, multiple automation, whether if it's volume, panning, or even controlling uh, plugins and other options within the DAW. Now, both the AWs, Prime and Traction T5, do support comping, audio comping. That means for each track that you've recorded multiple takes, you can select the best one out of the takes and make your master. Though with T5 it works slightly differently but the principle is still the same so multiple takes you'll be able to choose them um, which one which take is the best or which part of the take you want to compete into master track. Okay here we come with some limitations. VST plugins which open up a whole world of effects and instruments that's one of the limitations in Studio One Prime. No VST plugins available. Where in T5 you can have uh, VST instruments, VST plugins, version 2 and 3 and so on. So it's all open to a whole new world of plugins that you can add. Let's have a look at the stock plugins available in both the AWs. Prime supports uh, up to 9 well, includes up to nine uh, plugins, including EQ, compression, uh, chorus, uh, flanger, delay, reverb, and so on that we looked at. And in T5, there are eight effects plugin, as well as few other plugins which uh, you know uh, relate to metering, volume panning, and those sort of things. And, and, and trims and so on. So in total I think stock plugin in T5 is about 15 of them. But the main difference between Prime and Traction T5 is VST plugins. That's where Studio One really falls down that it does not support any VST plugins whatsoever where Traction T5 you have any VST plugin available, VST the original version, VST2 or VST3 um, and even VSTi instruments so all of that is available which opens up a whole new world of you know editing and, and changing things and applying effects as well as adding different instruments. 
Studio One Prime comes with a built-in instrument which is the Presence XT which has quite a large library of uh, sampled audio that you, you can use to create your music. Now because Studio One Prime does not support VSTs, you are limited to that VST instrument. And even though you can add some new samples and sounds with uh, sound, for, sound fonts, um, still limited to that one instrument. Where with Traction T5, you can have multiple instruments. Now, the Traction T5, when you download and install it, it does not come with any VST instrument, but you can download even free versions to use them. You know, uh, and examples would be Contact Player 5 or from Native Instruments or from IK Multimedia, um, the uh, sound, sound Tank and so on. So there's plenty of VST instruments that you can download and install, even free ones or paid ones, and you can have different sounds in there. Now having said that, Traction T5 does come with sample player, it's just that it doesn't come with any sounds built in. You need to download and make them play. You can certainly download one-shot samples, and I will show you in another video how, that you can incorporate, download those samples, incorporate into the Traction T5 sample player and then you can have a whole lot of sounds added to it. It's just that your download doesn't include them. Audio editing, both do, you know, quite comprehensive audio editing, both in Prime and T5. You can edit, stretch, cut, slice, dice and do all those things uh, for both um, DAWs, which is great. I guess that's what DAWs are for. Now, operating platforms. Studio One Prime, or Studio One, basically will run on Windows as well as Mac OS, uh, OS X. And the difference between T5 not only will run on Windows and Mac platform, it will also run on Linux. I actually tried Traction T5 on, on a really old laptop that I had, installed Linux on it, and ran Traction T5. Though with Linux, it might get a little bit complicated how to set up your audio system, you know, as your audio interface uh, to, to, so that you can get some audio in, but it does work quite well. And even with the built-in sound card of the laptop, I was able to record things without any hassles. And I think I recorded about two hours of live show that I was doing, which I had Traction T5 just record stereo tracks out of the mixer which is really great, you know, it's an old laptop come to use. Next is upgrading them. Now Traction uh, T5, you can upgrade to the latest one, uh, to Traction T7. I think it's about $60 or thereabouts. And then you can get a full upgrade with mastering plugins and a few other things for about $100. And you can also upgrade to the next level, which is at about $199, where you also get a couple of um, synthesizers and, you know, and samplers that you can add to it. So you can create even more. So that's about, you know, the ultimate copy would be about $200. Where in Presonus Studio One, to go to the artist is, I think, about $99. Which again, you still don't get VST. Um, you need to pay, you know, a bit extra to get the VST plugin. Or if you want to go to the professional version, you're looking at about five ninety nine. So that's the that's sort of the differences in price between Studio One upgrade from Prime to Pro and upgrade from T5 to T7 with Ultimate and everything else included from $599 and $199 comparison. Now usability, I have to admit Studio One look and feel of it, it's quite easy to even first time users to be able to get straight on and be able to start record songs because the layout and the workflow is, you know, very similar to the majority of the systems or DAWs out there. But for Traction T5, the graphics are a little bit outdated. 
and they look really flat and not as user friendly as many other doughs. That might be, you know, some of the drawbacks of Traction that it just doesn't have that feel. Even though Traction 7 has improved quite a lot, but it still has that flat, outdated look. And that might sort of um, scare some people to approach it because it just got too many things on the screen um, and it might look really odd. But I guess the developers of Traction were not really looking at how well the software looks, but it's how well it performs, how flexible it is and how, how much more you can do, how much more creative you can be with their software. So comparing Prime and T5, you can do so much more in T5 being a free DAW that it way you know outperforms um, Prime in many ways not only VSD, available VSD plugins and instruments, you also have, you know, racks, effects unit that you can link and route audio, MIDI, all in different ways that you can ever imagine. And you can have multiple faders in the mixer, multiple uh, audio levels and so on. So you can monitor uh, the, the volume between each effects that you're putting, making sure that you're not um, distorting the next plugin so that you you can control the volume of the output of the plugin before you feed it into the next plugin and so on. So there's quite a lot of difference and I hope that very soon I will actually start making videos on Traction 5 as well. No, I'm not going to forget about Studio One Prime. There'll be more videos on that but um, I'll be moving to more Traction 5 and doing a lot more basic usability uh, videos so that the, that scare of looking at Traction 5 the screen and going, whoa, where do I start? How do I do things? My videos will guide you and give you more confidence in using Traction um, where in Prime, it's pretty straightforward and really easy to use the software. So those are the main differences. I guess you can, if you haven't downloaded either of them, you can download Prime. It's free from Personas. You can download T5 from Traction. It's free. And then give them a try to see which one you like. The workflow of Prime, you know, is pretty much what uh, majority of the DAWs are. Where in Traction, it's very different workflow um, and look and feel than the majority of DAWs. But once you get used to the idea of once you know how it actually works and you understand the power behind it, you would really um, you, you really get to love it. So um, if you have, as always, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, what differences that there are that I have missed. Feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And if you like my comparison, give me the thumbs up. You don't have to, but if you like, you can always give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Until the next video, have a great time making music. Cheerio.